I think it's selfish. Alabama moves the ball, shares the ball, and they're led by Sarah Ashley Parker. Royal McQueen in the corner for three. The Timmons all over Michaela Williams, too. Almost had a steal. Eight seconds, though, here for the Tigers. And Michaela Williams, one of the best. Over to LSU this season. Blaje Johnson misses, but Angel Reese, two offensive rebounds. She gets more offensive rebounds than anyone in the nation. Though, so, like we saw at the SEC. Was the SEC tournament? It was the SEC yes. tournament, but you know what? It didn't affect her game. It not, did not one bit. Not one bit. Royal McQueen's already hit one from this spot. Make it two. Parker, the kick to Aaliyah Nye. She always knows where Nye is. Charlie Cream says a win today over LSU. That would move Alabama to a nine seed. They go inside to Angel Reese through two defenders. We welcome you into Baton Rouge. Those of you just joining us, Courtney Lyle and Carolyn Peck with you. Alabama off to a hot start in their second meeting with the Tigers. They came out, started three for four from behind the arc. And that's similar to the first time these two teams met. At the half, it was Alabama that was up by one. They've gotten off to a quick start. Now, how can they maintain that through four quarters? LSU won the first meeting back on... January 18th, they beat Alabama by 20 points. Alabama actually led by one at the half. Yeah, it was all keyed on. Aaliyah Nye, she had, she had 18 points in that first half. That's number 32 in pink. Flaje Johnson for three. No. And this will be Alabama ball. But both of these teams we were talking, they're different than that first meeting. I know it hasn't been that long ago. But we're seeing differences and improvement on both sides. Well, the strength of the two teams, for LSU, it's in the paint. For Alabama, it's their perimeter shooting. Here's Anissa Morrow looking for her first points. Won't get them there. Sarah Ashley Barker on the move. Carly Weathers needing help. Loyal McQueen, and it bounces off of a foot of Anissa Morrow. Angel Reese was heading the other direction. She's got to get back on defense. There's Aaliyah Nye. She has had 23 points in each of their last two games. Rotation defensively for Alabama has been spot on. They're making it really hard on LSU in the paint. Aaliyah Nye got it. They wipe off the bucket. Defensively changing things up. Tennessee never knew were they in man or in zone and could never get in a rhythm offensively. Last year, Pola with the bucket. The assist to Angel Reese. Deny, but it's poked away by Michaela Williams. This is a player that knows where everyone's going to be. Just the tip right back to last year, Poa. Perfect. She said, just run your stuff. It doesn't matter man or zone. And that's what LSU's got to do today against Alabama. 
Brooks. Carly Weathers waiting in the corner. That's been a great spot for Alabama. They have hit three three-pointers from that spot today. It's getting beat off penetration. The defense sinks into the paint, and the three-point shooter is locked and ready. Poa throws it up. Offensive foul on last tier Poa, but talking through the scouting report. It's worked for this group. They've won their last four games. The turnaround is it good for Gianna Cunningham. If LSU can't guard the dribble drive, this could be a long night for the Tigers. Largest lead for Alabama. Del Rosario didn't even need a dribble. He's a reset too small. She gave the symbol. Del Rosario didn't have yeah. to. LSU ball, so that foul puts them in the bonus, so Flage Johnson will go to the free throw line. Up and in for Flage. Well, Thursday at 7 Eastern, 6 Eastern, be a good night for women's hoops. South Carolina getting a nice win over UConn today, 83-65, to and that was without Camila Cardoso, who's playing with her national team right now. South Carolina didn't look like they missed a beat without Cardoso. Well, four players and double figures for South Carolina, who now has six wins against ranked opponents. Haley Van Lip, no. Anissa Morrow looking for her first points. Morrow enters this game needing six points for 2,000 in her career. Can't that, Courtney? I, I'm in heels. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to reel that in to protect me like you do when we're in the car. If I was. <laughs> <laughs> I usually drive. There has been a hand that's been thrown out just to protect Peck every once in a while. Not because of my driving. No. <laughs> Nigh up the front of the iron. Angel Reese arguing it's a jump ball. They're going to whistle a foul on Angel. Oh, I don't think, I think that's a jump ball. Yeah. Both players had their hands on the basketball. I didn't see a foul. Instead, they're going to whistle that against Angel Reese. Inbound to Timmons. Ball Kick to the corner to nine. Waiting. You cannot let her sit and cook. So pretty how Alabama moves the basketball. That's how offense should be played. Ali Nye has already hit three three-pointers. That's a good sign for the Crimson Tide. Russell Johnson has her shot blocked. Well, in, instead of just packing their defense, they pack their three-point shot. It's a full lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> Thermos included. Courtney Lyle and Carolyn Peck with you from Baton Rouge, LSU. Hosting Alabama's second meeting between these two. LSU won the first one back in January by 20. Essence, Cody... Trying to get in on the fun. Reese working on Cody. I wear contacts and I still couldn't see that. So while they clean that up, uh, it's time for today's Need to Know. It's brought to you by the USPS Ground Advantage. And look for LSU to make it, try to make a run right now. First and second quarter talked about got to get Angel Reese touches. Because Alabama's challenging off the bounce. And Loyal McQueen's going to get herself to the free throw line. You can tell Alabama's game plan is if you can get deep enough to cause two to guard one, you can make things happen. And looking for Angel Reese. Morrow throws it up, but just a little too far out in front of her. Because if they're not getting shots in the paint, they turn the ball over. Here goes Anissa Morrow. Her first points, now four points away from 2,000 in her career. If you get your hands up, good things can happen. The steal score. 
to the Tigers. It's not the contested ones. Carly Weathers an open look. Rebound by Morrow. Pola inside to Reese. The spin and to the free throw line. Fouled by Cunningham. And it doesn't matter if it's single coverage, double team or a triple team. Reese can make things happen. Juju Watkins, a front runner for National Freshman of the Year and the 10th ranked Trojans from the Galen Center in Los Angeles. Watkins, you know, Peck, your freshman year, you come in, you average 27 and a half points per game. Hey, she is worth the price of admission. Put up 51 in a game at Stanford. Look at Reese working through a double team, but can't finish. Got her own rebound. And back to her favorite place, the free throw line. She's got to be the hardest player to keep off the offensive glass. This was a third foul on Gianna Cunningham. 12 rebounds a game. Okay, now LSU is going with a small lineup. Anissa Morrow is at the five. The other four players are all perimeter guards. Well, Alabama has got Essence Cody and Gianna Cunningham on the bench with two fouls apiece. A couple of their bigger players. SA has it stripped. Blage short on the land. You're going to see a lot of switching. Everybody except for Anissa Morrow. Jessica Timmons, the bucket and the damage. Coming off 14 points against Tennessee. She was 6 of 10 from the field in that game. Alabama gets the ball back. The rebound by Sarah Ashley Barker. Van Litt. Yes. First points for Haley Van Litt. Simmons from deep. Seven three-pointers for Alabama. I don't think they want to go in the locker room at halftime. Blase Johnson's going to beat him in transition on the other end. But you can't trade twos for threes. You got to find a way to stop the three-point shot. I think Sarah Ashley Barker knew that was going in. Held the follow-through in the air. As she was turning head the other That's direction. Right. <laughs> Largest lead for the Tide. First bucket for SA. Fifty percent on layups. They're seven of fourteen. They've got to finish those buckets that are close in. Yeah, they've had some easy looks. Both free throws good for Haley Van Lee. Timmons off to the left. We saw Alabama do that early in the first quarter. They threw a bunch of different defenses at LSU. Did it in their last game against Tennessee as well. All right, Angel Reese. That's how you get a double-double. Roy McQueen is in the corner. In her favorite spot, she's hit two freeze threes from there. And Williams misses at the top of the key. Michaela Williams has some free throws coming. Number 10 in white, Angel Reese. Give her the basketball and let her go to work. Especially when the lane is open, clear out. Give her space because with this lineup, there's not too many people that can match up with number 10. And I think Angel Reese at the next level has got to develop a fit, more of a face-up game if she decides to go on to the WNBA. Michaela okay, Williams got her own rebound. Jessica Timmons dropped in and then hopped out. Jones with the offensive rebound. 
misses the first. For our next big Monday. Both games also available on ESPN and the app. Alabama has led the majority of this first half. They have had the lead for 18 minutes. Well, she's been trying to climb back. It's been the defense that's been so impressive from Alabama to go along with that three-point shooting. Timmons coming off the screen, crushed it. See, Alabama's able to just switch guard to guard. It's the other things that she does. It doesn't have to just show up in the score column of what she contributes for the top check. Number three in pink. Started her career at Georgia. Now in her second season at Alabama, she can come back for another year as well. I was looking at her numbers from last year. She averaged 4.5 points per game up to 16.9. Michaela Williams. Alabama can take the last shot of the half. They have led by as many as 11 today. Loyal McQueen gets the bounce to go on the road. And Alabama... Well, you Kim think? Mulkey is going to challenge her team to bring it defensively in this second half. Last year, Poa is going to take the three. Rebound by Aliyah Nye. And Poa got the starting nod instead of Haley Van Lith coming out of the, in the third. Do you like the move? We'll see, because Poa is a defender. Anissa Morrow in and out. Poa is there for the rebound and the putback. She's got six. They force Alabama into calling an early timeout here in the third quarter with the pressure they've applied. And Poa with the steal. Swatted away by Essence Cody, but she fouls last tier Poa. And that's the third foul on Essence Cody. That's big size inside for Alabama. It's to contend with Angel Reese and Anissa Morrow on the ground. Jessica Timmons lowered that shoulder, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Angel Reese off the screen, a switch on Poa. She establishes legal guarding position and sacrifices her body right there to draw the charge. Well, Angel Reese and Haley Van Lith, they went to last year POA a couple of games ago and said, we need you. We need you to be that aggressor that you are in practice as Angel finishes in the paint. If anybody, that should have been on the Kayla Williams. Yeah. And Angel Reese gesturing to the student section to get louder. Well, she's going to a horn set. And yeah, they're looking to post up Williams. Feel like she's got a size advantage. And Aaliyah Knight already had those two fouls. She just picked up her third. With those three fouls, Nye keeps checking the bench, but Curry isn't sending anybody. Oh, yes, she is. You've got a lead right now. Now it's a matter, do you want to gamble? Well, Taylor Williams hits them both. Cody, top of the key. Now, Flyzay Johnson, too much with the dribble. Last year, Poa did a great job. Remember, she's got three fouls, did not pick up her fourth on that play.
last year, Poa only has two fouls now. They accidentally gave her her third. Alabama 0 for 3 from 3 in this quarter. They were shooting 56% from 3 at the half. Swiped by Morrow. And Angel Reese hit the deck hard. There's a rebound to be hand. Angel Reese is going after it. Off the inbounds. LSU back on top. Oh, you love it after you score and then you cause a five-second call on the inbounds. You know your team is locked in. Again, she's been challenging this team all year. And that's what Kim Mulkey has wanted from her team is the effort on the defensive end. LSU with its first lead since it was 4-3 to three in this ball game. Okay. The LSU switching all the ball screens now instead of trying to hedge and help. Alabama still has only scored one point in the third quarter. And Michaela Williams rejects this ball screen. That one dribble to the baseline pull up is pure. Several different recruiting outlets have Michaela Williams listed as the number one freshman in her class. She is the two-time Louisiana Gatorade Player of the Year. This is a huge foul, though, because that is the fourth on Essence Cody, and now she has taken a seat for Alabama. Cody with no points, but her size down low is what they needed to go up against the size of LSU. Well, if she doesn't get rebounds, Cody was responsible in trying to keep Angel Reese off the glass. It's a tough job. Alabama just gets it over in time. Aliyah Nye waiting. Haley Van Lift shot blocked by Naomi Jones. Timmons trying to Euro and she's fouled by Michaela Williams. And she's in double figures for the 17th time this season. It's been a battle. They've been outscored 15 to 6 here in the third quarter. Morrow to Reese. Started with the defense for LSU. The intensity, the focus, they're locked in. And they get the takeaway. Michaela Williams fires. Boom! <laughs> Offensive foul on Carly Weathers, and last year, Poa takes her second charge of the game. What a difference maker for LSU. Last year, Poa came out of the locker room, started this third quarter, and it was because of what she brings defensively. That was her 28th charge taken on the season. Del Rosario with the rebound, back up to Poa. Williams to her post player, misses. The kick to the corner, Sarah Ashley Barker, her second three today, she's up to eight points. She's their leading scorer, averages 17 a game. This is a two from Williams. How did Morrow hit that? <laughs> she's a bucket away from 2,000 points in her career. The way that Morrow and Reese get on the glass is just ridiculous. Cunningham with a turnaround in and out. Ten seconds here. 
And there's a foul underneath. Angel Reese was on her run last season with double doubles. Anissa Morrow was neck and neck when she was playing at DePaul. How fitting she could get it at the free throw line. Got it. Two grand, feeling fine. Largest lead here for LSU. Simmons is off. That's what you need in your point guard. Get things organized. They got to go. Two seconds. And Flage Johnson is fouled. Flage gets the first. I'll tell you, the Pac-12 ain't no joke. Alabama has only scored nine points here in the third quarter. LSU has 26. Very similar to the last meeting. Swatted away by Angel Reese. Not in my house. And the highlight reel. Pull on a big foul. LSU cooking. LSU can take the last shot of the quarter. They have outscored Alabama 28 to 9 in the third. Tack on two more. A 30 spot for the Tigers. Play for K, such an important initiative. We're so lucky our ESPN family is a part of it. Courtney Lyle and Carolyn Peck back with you here in Baton Rouge. LSU was shot out of a cannon. Starting last year, Poa, and bringing the defensive heat, went with a full court press. In the first half, they weren't making shots. They let the offense affect their defense. Last Tirpoa, a true point guard. As you mentioned, she got the start in the third quarter. She took two charges in the third quarter. Her defensive intensity also helping LSU. Now she knows how to get the ball to Angel Reese, Poa does. It's a good strategy. Up ahead to Flage. Cunningham has four fouls. Malia Nye on the floor right now with three. Morrow off the inbound, three-point play possible. Now over 2,000 points in her career. Just the muscle she positions on Sarah Ashley Barker and gets the two and the bonus trip to the free throw line. Do you mean like that? Alabama's got numbers. Nye to McQueen. Now LSU with numbers. Finish it, Flossie! Three-point play. She'll look for scoring opportunities, but she's more concerned of getting the ball where Kim Mulkey wants it. Carly Weathers is rejected. Rejected. They swing it around to Timmons for three. Two-plus minute scoring drought for Alabama. It's a lot easier to make threes when you got the lead, right? Your confidence is there. The bucket is huge. When you're chasing from behind, those shots get a little more difficult. Morrow, the dump off to Reese. 
those two play so similar in getting into those open spots. That's like a Batman and Robin, but both of them wear capes. Alabama had a 10-point lead at the half that's been erased here in the second half as they have scored single digits in both quarters. Gave up 30 points in the third quarter. 25 points for Reese, 18 rebounds. Did you see how high into Reese got when she went up for that rebound? Over Skying everybody. It. Blocked by Paula. Up ahead to Reese. Back to Flage. That ends a three and a half minute scoring drought for Alabama. With 20 points in the second half off turnovers for LSU. But the adjustments defensively for LSU. Wow. Morrow just snatched that out of the air. LSU has made five of its last seven shots. Plage in the corner. Blows a kiss to the crowd. What do you think about the adjustments that LSU can make in the locker room and in one game so quickly? Well, Kim Mulkey has their attention. And she is very succinct. And she knows she can call on Angel Reese to get a job done. And Angel Reese will carry that through. Look at the difference. The first half, 31 points. They shot 31% from the field. Totally different second half. They weren't able to run the penetrating pitch like they did the first half. Switching on ball screens, accountability on ball. You could see the difference. Well, McQueen makes it 13 made threes for Alabama. But both McQueen and Nye, the threes they've made, they at least this time have been contested. Look at Poa. That's a career high 11 points for her. Well, Poa's going to get a break. Flage Johnson last year, Poa and Michaela Williams take a seat. But Poa, I tell you, she was the player that has been the player of the game. Her impact in the second half has been huge. Only a nine for two. And how many four burns did she get today? She's going to need an ice bath. But that's not different from any other game. Haley Van Lith with a bucket. She has six. And bringing in last year Poa at that point position, they just got to consistently bring the defense. Cunningham. Simmons will hit. That's 14 made three. This is a tell of two halves for LSU. Kent misses, and then they just opened up a can in the second half. <laughs> 30 points in the third quarter, 24 here in the fourth. Angel Reese turned it up too, I and mean, she's had a quite a night as well 27 and 19 she Woo! might have worked a little overtime putting up those kind of numbers
It wasn't easy, but they will take it.